Hi, everybody, and welcome. It's Jill with Go English Coach. So I have a lot of students that come to me and say this, like, okay, I've studied English for a really long time, but I still feel really nervous when I have to speak it or if I have to communicate with my boss or my colleagues. And so that is really the point, my goal, my passion around teaching pronunciation and fluency, okay? So we've got these four sounds and I really like to go sound by sound in when we're talking especially about the vowels because the English vowel system is is can be very confusing. And as I've said in the past, what makes it super confusing is the fact that we don't have a phonetic relationship between the sounds and the letters in English. Okay, so that that relationship between the sounds and the letters is not always the same. And let's let's jump in and see and and, and we'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. So for example, we've got this sound here. This is the sound. Remember when I have those two lines like this, we call these slash slash marks. When I have that, that we're talking about the sound. So this is not the spelling. This is the spelling of the sound. And you'll see many different versions of that. So the sound is the A sound. Now take a look at my face. I've got a long, like wide kind of smile. I am exaggerating the sound so you can see what happens quickly in speech. So A, A, it looks like I'm smiling and I am, but <laughs> okay. So A, next we have this short, relaxed sound, eh, eh. Okay. And then we have the short I sound. So last week we talked about the long I, the, or the long E sound, E and its spelling. And we compared it to this one. So we have already kind of covered this sound, but it is nice to compare these to these other sounds. Okay. So we've got the I. And then this one is a, is, is, Kind of a unique sound. Um, so lots of languages do not have this sound. Some do, but lot, many don't. Um, and it's the ah. Now, actually, look at my mouth here. Ah. My mouth is almost like a square. Um, and realistically, when we're practicing fluency and pronunciation, what becomes uncomfortable oftentimes is the the difference in our face. So maybe you come from a language background that has, you know, maybe you talk like this and you don't move your face. And so it's very difficult to you. Maybe your language, your first language does not use much expression or there is not much movement in your face. And so sometimes I have had to work with students to really break some of those habits of keeping their face straight. You know, English requires to, to make the correct sounds in English you need to kind of relearn how to move your mouth and your face, okay? So keeping that in mind, if I'm asking you to really exaggerate a sound, that's that's what we need to do, okay? So keeping along that kind of path, let's kind of practice some of these sounds. And then what I also would like for you to pay attention to um, or to focus on is the spelling, okay? Look at the different spellings to these to these words, okay? Or for these sounds, excuse me. So we've got the word wait, wait. We have another word that sounds just like this, wait. It's the same pronunciation as this sound. This one and this one are the same pronunciation. Wait and wait. They, shame, paper, eight, Taste, stay, great, and vain. Now, this one actually has many, many different spellings. So what do you guys see here? We see an A-I, an E-Y. We have just the simple A. We have that one down here too. So just an A. You've got an A here, paper. You've got E-I-G-H here, eight, that's the number eight. And then taste, A-Y, stay, 
great E A and then E I here and then E I G H here too. The short E or eh, eh. So if you look at my face here, um, my mouth is not moving very much. Bed, tennis. It's coming down. My voice, my um, chin is coming down, but my mouth is relaxed. So with with a a my mouth and my face is not relaxed. It's tense. They call it tense. With this, my face is relaxed. Eh, eh. Okay. So we've got tennis, left, breakfast, many, said. Again, says, and friend. I think that some of these words here are um, tr tricky for many non-native speakers, okay? So really, many people want to say said because that's what it looks like, okay? This is why um, practicing pronunciation and fluency is really, really important because, because of words like this, you know, again, again. Now keep in mind, if you are interested in another um, form of English, let's say British English, this pronunciation um, would be different. Okay. So said, again, says, and friend. Okay. Great. All right. Let's look at this short I sound. So we've got the I. So there's a lot of different spellings for the sound as well. We've got I, six, gym, English. So I, I, I. There's two of them in this word. Build, busy, women. Okay, this is another one of, like, I put this in the same category as this one. Words that are often misspelled or mispronounced, okay? And because there's a very small difference between women and woman, um, you really have to practice that, right? So if we've got the word woman, the singular version, one woman, and we'll just put that in the parentheses here, okay? One woman, it's spelled uh with this uh, eh, woman. Okay, so the eh sound is actually here. Okay, and this is the uh. We haven't we haven't talked about that first sound, but wo, woman. Now the um, women. This is the plural, so one or more. Okay, women. You've got i here and i here. Women. That's the plural. I know English is crazy, isn't it? Okay, and then our last sound that we're looking at today is the ah sound. Now look at my mouth and my face again. My mouth is very open. Ah. I'm almost smiling a little bit. Ah. So we've got that. Apple. Glasses. Laugh. Ant. And plaid. Look at the different spellings there. So you've got a singular A. Ah. Apple, you've got a here. Here you've got a u g h. Well, a u g h, right? And a u, and then a i. Okay, that one's a tricky one. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.